welcome to the Almoretti Test Kitchen. I'm so excited because today we're going to be making a recipe I love. It's perfect for Valentine's Day. It's delicious, but it's also nutritious. So not only are you going to be satisfying your sweet tooth, but you're also going to be making something that's really beneficial for your body. All right, so the recipe we're going to be making today is a chocolate pudding layered with a cashew cream. And right here we have all the ingredients for our cashew cream. We have cashews. You can use either raw or roasted cashews. They've been covered with coconut water, and this makes them a little bit easier to blend. We have coconut oil. We have lemon that we're going to be adding. And adding lemon gives it a little bit of a tang that's similar to a, a cheesy flavor that you get from cream cheese. And then we're gonna add our flavorings that'll boost that, that flavor. We have salt, and then we have our Amoretti products. We have our light organic agave, and we have our vanilla Madagascar bourbon extract. And this is an amazing vanilla. It's been cold pressed for 30 days and I could eat it with a spoon. It has no alcohol, no water in it. So you get that very pure, beautiful vanilla flavor. All right, so first we're gonna make our cashew cream. Here are all the ingredients. I am going to add the cashews to the blender. And on the side, uh, I'm going to make sure I have a little bit of extra coconut water because our goal is to create a really velvety, smooth cashew cream. And uh, if the blades are not turning over smoothly, then we can add a little bit of coconut water, a tablespoon at a time. We only need a, a pinch of salt here, so that's good. And our agave, our vanilla Madagascar bourbon extract. And the coconut oil, we are not going to add until the last minute because it's pretty thick oil and it'll slow down the mixture from blending up. So we want to add that in the last seconds just so it distributes throughout the mixture. I'm also gonna add a lemon. Now we'll slowly turn the blender on. If you have a Vitamix, you wanna make sure it's at its lowest setting. So now we're ready to make our chocolate pudding. And surprisingly enough, the base of this chocolate pudding is avocado. And you may want to keep this as your little secret because nobody will know avocado is the base of this pudding because the flavor of the chocolate and all the other components are so strong that you can't even taste a hint of the avocado. What we're going to want to do is put our liquid in first and then cut the avocado up into very small pieces because it is it does become a thick mixture and in order for the blender to start liquefying it we're going to want the smallest pieces possible it's just going to make it easier for the blades to work in the blender i am going to add my liquid the coconut water we're also going to want to have a reserve of coconut water on the side because we'll probably have to add some coconut water to this mix if it's too thick okay all right and i have the rest of my avocado ready to go. And I can tell already that it needs more water in there, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more right now. And we have uh, cocoa powder. We have our Amoretti ingredients. We have our crema, crema de cacao extract, and we also have more of our vanilla Madagascar bourbon extract. A little bit of salt. We have some of our agave to give it a little bit of sweetness. Now we're going to add it to the blender. So you're just going to slowly start the blender and then increase the speed. Right, 
so now we have the finished product. We have our cashew cream and our chocolate pudding that's made with avocado. And this is a dairy-free dessert. However, you are not gonna be sacrificing on flavor because it's absolutely delicious. In fact, my five-year-old son loves this dessert. And I like to make a batch and then I put it into four ounce jars and store them in the refrigerator until he's ready to eat them. And so once you put it in the refrigerator, it turns into a perfect pudding-like texture because of the coconut oil solidifies when in the refrigerator. You can get creative. There's a lot of different ways that you can make the finished product and serve it. We have a martini glass here. This is a beautiful dessert to serve to somebody. We have, of course, the mason jars, and you can store it in any syllable jar. You can store it just like this. However, I'm going to add just one layer each of the coconut cream and the avocado chocolate pudding. And then we're going to garnish it. And this is going to add just a little bit of a pop to the top. And it's also going to add a little bit of texture when you're spooning into the mixture. A little bit of crunch. A little bit of chewiness with the coconut strips. We're going to add a couple of goji berries. And some cacao nibs. And there's the finished product. I hope you've enjoyed this recipe. If you'd like to know the additional health benefits or for the recipe itself, head over to our blog, almoreadyblog.com. Thank you so much for watching.